Hey everyone, Nervous here, and I'm FPS Chasley. Uh, <laughs> oh man, I really want to make sure I get this good. Make sure I do this right. Okay, what is our what is our order of operation right now? What am I what am I doing right now? We need to make sure this course seems really locked down. It does seem very locked down to me. Seems very good. Stuff at the tail end seems kind of wonky, but who cares? It's so far back, it doesn't matter. This is very good. We have no solution in the past, or no data in the past 20 minutes. That is to be expected. Very close aboard. We're seeing it right here. Very loud. Very close aboard. We are going to launch soon. I'm going to try and launch probably when it's about... here. I want my torps to go out and meet it, but it, of course it's going to start running away before then. I, I, I wouldn't mind waiting for it to get out here and then hit it as it's starting to head away, but if any one of the 65 centimeters misses, I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to get it with the 5365k, so I might launch a huge salvo here. I may launch a very large salvo. I think it's going to take at least three of these to sink it. It's going to take at least three 65 centimeters to sink this thing. What is the range of the 5365K? Now, I'm not going to launch my 65 centimeters at full speed. Yeah, I'll probably launch everything at 40 knots. So that gives this a range of 24 kilometers at 40 knots. What does that equate to? Okay, so that equates to 13 nautical miles at 40 knots, which isn't bad, isn't bad. It's not as big of an increase as I would expect. I think it goes from about 10 nautical miles to 13, I mean, which, you know, that's about 33% more, but you'd think it would be a little less um, drag as proportional to speed cube speed squared speed cube speed cubed speed cubed okay but yeah i have my sound turned up a little extra to make sure i really hear a lot and yeah this nimitz is very close aboard thankfully he is not pinging we're not getting pings from a nimitz we're getting pings from other stuff like sierra 10 that solution probably needs to be updated a little bit because that said that ping was coming from 142 and this guy's at 138, but no matter. We got ourselves our Nimitz coming in. Coming in. We are heading this way. We're maintaining this course and speed. Um, I can go ahead and uh, get some presets lined up. I'm going to keep these all at 40 knots. Floor. I don't necessarily have to change it. it, it it'll still work where it is, but I, I feel like I want to change it. And I don't know why, but I will. Speed will stay at 40 knots. The top speed of the Nimitz is 32 knots. 31.5 knots, so I'll, I'll leave it at 40 knots. Uh, what does it say about the range of the 65 centimeters at a different speed? 100 kilometers at 30 knots, wow. Okay, interesting. 50 kilometers at 50 knots. The reason I, I'm not going to 40 knots to try and improve the range, I wanted to go to 40 knots to try and make it harder to hear so it has less time to evade and maneuver and all that good stuff. I would like to be able, well, no, that kind of defeats the purpose. The torps need to be launched down here. I'm going to go ahead and start flooding these tubes while I can. Just, and I'm going to get these ones flooded too as backup. Go ahead and equalize them as well. Uh, might as well get a squall ready. Who knows when something... I'll, I'll get two squalls ready. Who knows when something sneaky could come out of nowhere. Uh, external five and six. I'll throw snapshots on those. Nope, not those. Five and six external. Thank you very much. Yeah, do that. Okay. Uh, I would assign the carrier to the tubes now, but for some reason it seems like the solution doesn't update as time goes on per se, so I'm going to do that at the last second, but just make sure all the parameters for those are good. Run to enable range. I think that 
9,000 meters is probably fine. I'm planning to keep those. Yeah, the 9,000 meters should be fine. Turn on at 4 nautical miles. Um, I'm going to try and keep those wires connected for as long as possible. But eventually I'm going to have to shut them off. I, I may have to wait until the Nimitz gets in front of me. Because I want to be able to, you know... Once the Nimitz starts evading, I don't want those torps to, you know, be aiming to go here where the Nimitz is going to come here, but then the Nimitz turns and starts running away, and then the torps aren't heading for it. So, it's tricky, tricky, tricky. But then once that, once that, once we get to that point, then the, uh, the 5365Ks are kind of hung out to dry because their range is not that great. Um, it's tricky. It's tricky. There's no one real solution. You kind of have to play it both ways and see which which option is going to work best. Hmm. Well, I want to launch the 5365Ks first and then follow up with 65 centimeters if possible. Hmm. I'm really weary to like speed up anymore at this speed. I can't really... Being, you know, right underneath the Nimitz would be ideal, but I'm not sure if that's really possible at this point. Can't really get into position without making too much noise. I could potentially get to four knots and get into that position, but mm, I don't know. I don't know, just to try and get closer into it so those torps have a better chance of going right up its butt. Hmm. <laughs> we'll go with the 65 centimeter option. I will probably launch right around here. And I, I might just launch 5365Ks with them, you know, just launch seven torps at it and just go with it. I have enough air for oh, 20 shots. I have enough air for 20 shots, and that's plenty. I'm not going to run out of that. I have, what is it, 14 tubes right now? So I can shoot all 14 tubes and six reloads? Like That's probably not going to happen. Okay. Let's go with uh, four 5365s and four 65 centimeters. We'll do all that against this bad boy here. And we'll make sure this solution is kosher as it comes up close. But it's not going to get much better than this. At this point, it's not really a question of the solution. It's going to be a question of how's this guy going to start evading once he sees torps coming his way. Um, what external tubes are those? One, two, three, and four external. Let me make sure these guys are set to 40 knots. Squeeze every little last ounce of range out of them. I mean, at this close in, 13 nautical miles is a pretty decent distance. Uh, we can go ahead and set that floor shallow on these as well. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're not letting me adjust too much. Mm. Why well, is not letting me adjust that? I don't know. That is weird. Okay, there's your run depth when enabled. Yeah, that's good. 60 meters. It can be shallower. Doesn't have to be that deep. Why is it not letting me adjust the floor? It's weird. It doesn't really matter. Um, just something I wanted to do. But yeah, we can make these run at 20 meters. 20 meters there. And uh, yeah, that should be good. We'll, we'll stick with the active... Maybe I should... Uh, this is not the time to try passive. I'm not very familiar with using passive weapons, so... Now's not the time for me to try out passive. Okay, I kind of want to speed up time to the launch point, but on the other hand, I don't really want to rush it in case something develops. <laughs> We're getting a little... A little noivous. A little noivous here. There's been a lot of build-up. I want to make sure I get it done right. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, am I still... I think I'm still seeing the Nimitz. No, it's gone from the toad. It's about to disappear from the hull. Where's that one coming from? It's gotta be this parry. It's really close in. It's hammering me with the pangs, and then this one down here is also lighting me up as well. Oh, let's go ahead for the old two times speed here. Heading exactly perpendicular to his course, or just about thereabouts. 
<sighs> we are approaching approaching the time of reckoning. And no one seems to be the wiser as to my position here. Or if they detected me, it's because the stock game you can't they can't shoot unless they get a positive ID on you, so could be both of those at play, but I have a feeling they haven't seen me. They've probably heard returns on their active active sonar, but I have not been close enough to give them a return. And all the pingers are pretty far away right now. Where's that Tycon? I think this is the Tycon. Well, if that's the Tycon, there's no way in hell we're going to get a shot off on that. Which is fine. That's not our prime. That's not our prime objective. It's a secondary objective there. Oh man, I would not mind going to three knots, but I really want to make sure I'm not counter detected before that shot. So I'm gonna stay at the two. I mean, the three will get me out to here. Is that really gonna make much of a difference if three gets me to here? Four would get me to here before like the launch point. I mean, is that really gonna make much of a difference? I don't think so. So we're gonna st we're gonna st we're just gonna stick with this. Stick with the game plan. Creep in at two knots, heading straight for his course, shortest route to his course. The oh, what is that called? I'm not even gonna bother trying to think about it right now. Um, I guess perpendicular is the word I'm looking for. I thought there was something else potentially. Uh, moving in, moving in, moving in, moving in. Dum ba dum 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 dum. I don't know why I'm looking at that. I'm not getting any more data on that. Let me go ahead and just mark them on the spherical. Don't really have any Control trackers on that. New contact. Bearing one four one. Designated Sierra one nine. Mm, okay, slow down. What am I seeing? Sierra nineteen. Is that the Nimitz? That can't be the Nimitz. What is that? Sierra, Sierra 19? Sierra 19. What is Sierra 19? That is the Nimitz. It seems to be not where I'm expecting it to be. Uh, let's see here. That seems interesting to me. What? What is going on? I mean, that speed is there. Sierra 19. Oh boy. Um, let's go to three knots. I'm going to three. Sit revolutions for three knots. And I'm turning parallel for a second because I, I need to verify what I'm seeing here because this is not making a lick of sense. I should not be seeing that there. That makes no sense to me. There's no ship I'm expecting to be right there. I'm expecting the Nimitz to be here. The solution is here and it is valid and it is correct to the best of my knowledge. So what am I seeing here? Well, let's get the frequency sheet out and stop guessing about it, huh? What in the Sam hell am I seeing here? 1415. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a 1415 right about there. Does the LA really have that? It does. It is around there as a fifth frequency, but no, this is this is the Nimitz, all right. Uh, what else? What else around here has that such a frequency? Uh, like the Wasp Newport big stuff does. The Perry does not. The Tycon is similar to that as well. The Burke is not similar. To, oh, it is similar to that too. It's kind of like a heavier thing. It looks like. What am I see whatever it is it's close aboard, it's changing frequency rather quickly. Is something driving right over me that I was not cognizant of? I don't know. It's changing bearing pretty quickly. It's pretty close in. There's no way that could be the Nimitz, is it? Just not a chance. Okay, I'm seeing it on the hull as well. What is it? I guess let's mark it on the hull as well. New contact. Uh, 19 one, and 20, five, merge them up. Four, yeah, merge them up. Sierra, two, zero. Merge, 13 knots. And if we do the same course, 
whatever this is, I don't know. I'm conf I'm very confused right now. Two, four, three, thirteen knots. Plug and plug. Zoom in. Let me let me move my cursor here. Whatever it is, it's very close aboard. We're talking like less than two nautical miles away. What is that? Is there something that snuck up on me this much and I've just not been aware of it? That does not seem right. I'm pretty sure I've been aware of all sonar sources near me, but maybe not. Uh, yeah, it does have that high bearing rate. It has a rather high bearing rate, 157. I don't think that's the Nimitz. If it is, I mean, it's kind of good that it worked out that way because I'm closer in for nice shots up the butt. But that doesn't make that makes no sense with what I was expecting with my data. I'm not Sierra 18, Sierra 8. What is Sierra 18, by the way? Is that the Perry? No, Sierra 18 is whatever this thing is. Sierra 8. Yeah, here's my Sierra 8, and there it is. As of whatever ago. Like, that is the solution. The speed is correct. That is the solution. This has to be some other ship. It has to be. Unless I'm losing my marbles in a grand fashion, losing my marbles. Did that adjust that solution too much? Not very. Have we gotten more data on Master 1 yet? Yes, we have. And it's kooky, conky, weird data. Uh, we're going to need more data to try and figure out what's going on here, what I am seeing. Steer course 2, 4, 8, steering A. First of all, it's assuming that whatever this is is constant course and speed. Okay, I'm seeing that too. I'm seeing the Sacramento on the hall on the cylindrical. And also the Nimitz. What is that? Oh god, now I'm gonna have to try and sort out well, it should still have a tracker on Sierra 8, I think. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, this is no bueno. This is no bueno. What is going on? 195. Uh, what's going on? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the bearing. Yeah, okay. Well, there's your heavy. There's your heavy thing right there. Uh, let's see. When is that data? Uh, do I have a tracker on Sierra 8? I thought I had a tracker on Sierra 8, but this that's the only heavy ship I'm expecting in this direction is that, so put a tracker on it. Jeez, really? What? Oh, God. That makes no sense. That makes no sense. It makes no sense. I'm very confused. Very confused as to what I'm seeing right now. Oh, God, this is a... This is not good. This is not good. Not good at all. What am I seeing right now? How could that solution be that far off unless it's sped up? What's the demon telling me? Sierra 8. 13 knots. 13, 18, 10. These guys all have TPKs of 8, and they're, going, they're all going 13 knots as well. Unless it changed course or something. Even, even if it changed course, it wouldn't be all the way up here. What am I seeing? What am I? I need more data. Need more data. Always need more data. What am I seeing? I thought I'd be firing this episode, but now I'm all confused and losing my veritable shit. Okay, let's 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 kick it out. Let's kick it out wide scale. What are we seeing here? Six eight seven. Yeah. I mean that's it. That's the Nimitz. I don't know how it's here. And in this position that I'm not expecting, but it is. Wow, what happened to this solution? Oh, let's see here. Where does this want to go? Uh, once you get really close in, it gets really finicky as to what it wants to show. Oh, God. We'll go with that for now. Ah, Sierra 8. Where is that? Where's the data on Sierra 8? 
This data that makes no frickin' sense to me. Okay, maybe the course was slightly wrong. What happens if I make it 245 and we draw this back to four hours? Does the rest of this data tell me anything? It seems to. It seems to be. It seems to be telling me that my originals... Wow, look at that. Right on the money. 243 was wrong. When you get this close in, it confounds itself. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to stop here. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm going to start this Rudy turn. Head, steer course one, nine, two. Steering guy. I guess I don't really need to. I'm just going to make it so the torps are shooting. Well, let's try and aim like maybe a little Rudy more like this. Steer course two, one, I'm going to stop here. Thanks for watching, guy. everyone. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. And as always, good hunting. Hey everyone, FPS Chaz here. Welcome back to Let's Play Subcommand Akula Final Battle. Uh, solution last time for the carrier was wrong. It is now here with a course of 245 confirmed in front of us. And uh, this is the toad and the spherical hull solution. They're right on top of each other. So we are now going to fire on Sierra. I'm just going to go ahead and drop Master 1 because it's just going to get in my way. Um, Sierra 8's already there, already ready to go. So let's uh let's go ahead and launch here. I might wait for maybe one more data point. Try and firm it up. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, go back an hour, please. Uh, let's see here. Just trying to firm it up ever so slightly. Maybe I shouldn't have dropped Master One. Uh, four hours. Um, gosh, goodness. Okay, it's just going to be very very finicky. It's going to be hard to really nail this down, but I think at this point, modifying it is just moving it by like a few hundred yards at a time. So, we're going for it. Okay, Sierra 8, Sierra 8. Internal 2s, 1, 2, 3, 4, presets. Uh, I guess it doesn't tell me what course it's launching on. We'll go on with that, and then, uh... One internal twos, one, two, three, and four. We are not messing around here. All right, all tubes caught, locked, and ready to rock. Let's open these doors. Let's get weapons out the door and get ready to turn tail and run. Toads are going to start coming in. We are about ready to get the hell out of here because hell's going to come down on us, but no one else is really close to us that poses a threat. Um, there's potentially more ships out here coming this way, but I don't know about them. I have not been paying attention. I have not had the time or the resources to. Um, all right. Here goes nothing. Let's start firing them. Launch tube four. Yes, the Capitan. Launch external tube Oh, boy. Oh, the tension. Oh, God. Oh, I don't want to mess this up. Oh, I don't want to mess up. Oh, I don't want to mess up. I do not want to mess up. Oh, God. Do not want to mess up. Really do not want to mess up. I hope this is good. I need to get ready to get the hell out of here. Okay. Alright, one more. Uno mas. Fire. Let's start closing all this stuff. I'm going to leave the 65 centimeter doors open. For as long as possible. Try and uh, let that go. All these torps are under, the, they're running under the layer. Oh no, they're not. Oh, they're going up to their run depth. Oh, the 5365s are. They're going up to a running depth. But the, uh, oh, maybe I, no, yeah, they're, they're going up to their, their depth. Shit, I didn't count for that, but that's fine. The 65 centimeters are going out deep still. Um, Sierra 8, Sierra 13, Sierra 8, they're all kind of oblivious still to what's going on. Trying to wonder if I shouldn't just try and get the hell out of here, but uh, I don't know. That's just a big old torpedo thing in front of me. Uh, noise is kind of high. All pings are still, well, there's an 18,000 hertz right there. Someone has a dipping sonar or sono buoy going somewhere. Um, half tempted to say I should start freaking getting out of here. Just don't know where a potential torp is going to be coming from. 
Let us turn to the north. Uh, right steer course three, two, uh, eight, let's, let's try actually more right like this. Try and start zero, clearing zero, this seven, datum here. Um, these tubes can't be reloaded. Maybe I should have shot these, but these are still these guys are still queued up if we potentially need them. But uh, I don't know. Um, I'm going to lose him on all sensors. I'm not going to be able to see his speed. So this is probably uh ooh he uh no I should have him on the spherical I gotta reacquire him on the spherical here oh uh, let's see it's this one here so go ahead and mark that control acoustics new contact Betty want to be able to see what his speed is designated Sierra one nine still kind of oblivious to what's going on I'm just gonna make it Oh, like here, I want to keep him. Don't want him to go my baffles. I want to be able to see what he is doing. And he's still kind of flying at nominal right now. Uh, yeah, these torques are up at their search depth. 65 centimeters are underneath the layer. All running at 40 knots. All making less noise than they could be. Carrier is oblivious as to what is going on currently, presently. Torps are about halfway there. This is all going well. I'm going to up to four knots at this point. Set revolutions for four knots. Propulsion I. Yeah, I'll stay at three knots. No one seems to really know I'm here Set yet. Revolutions for three knots. Propulsion I. No one seems to be aware of anything. Toad is back in. Very well. How's this carrier doing? Carrier still is oblivious. Is he at washout speed? I don't know. I don't know, but torps are coming in. Torps are coming in. They're set to enable at about four and a half nautical miles. Uh, that is too far, so I'm gonna have to manually enable them. Oh, good lord! Good thing I checked that. Wow. Okay. Well, I thought that the carrier was gonna be further away. I forgot to check it, man. Uh, let's see. These bad boys. I probably should enable them sooner rather than later. Let's go ahead. I don't think the carrier hears them yet, and they're not pinging. So. They're within an nautical mile now. Let's go ahead and turn them on. Turn on. Turn on. Turn on. And I'm assuming this is another one that can be turned on. Yes. <clears throat> Carrier still seems to be oblivious. Torps are turned on. They are coming up. Are they coming right up to... Okay, they seem to be coming up in such a way that they're going to be meeting the carrier at a certain point. These torps are very deep. They're at about 1,500 feet. Carrier is still oblivious, even though these torps are now pinging. Torps are now pinging. It looks like these torps are heading up at such an angle to meet the carrier. The solution could be off slightly. It is general, but it seems like it could be a good one. Carrier still seems to be oblivious. No one else seems to really be making holes in the water nothing's really oh shit bam oh we got a hit oh we got a hit oh we got another hit oh man we are getting hits here come other torps i don't know when these 5365s are enabling i think they're actually enabling on the far side of the carrier but i think all the 65 centimeters are getting hits i think this is going to be it oh we got it Oh, we got it. Oh, we got it. Oh, victory. We got it. Oh, let's see. Oh, let's see here. Um, I may officially end it there, but let's do... I'm going to officially end it there, but let's do... I'm going to do some epilogue episodes and try and break contact from this group. So I'll see you guys in the epilogue episodes. So thank you guys very much for watching the subcommand campaign. Uh, this concludes my campaign as I will do it in subcommand or my series as I will do it in subcommand but uh, I will eventually do the LA campaign in sub in, uh, the LA subcommand campaign in reinforce alert in dangerous waters so look forward to that not sure when that's going to start probably a few months actually but yeah thank you guys so much for watching the subcommand Akula campaign I've liked it a lot got me a lot of experience and I will see you guys later and as always, good hunting. Capitan, your victory over the imperialist NATO fleet has brought great glory not only to yourself but to the new Russian Federation. 
Russia will once again be a feared world power to be reckoned with. Your sinking of the American aircraft carrier was a great naval battle victory that will raise your name to the levels of admirals of the fleet Grozak and Tesserov. Moscow anxiously awaits your return. Our new government will be awarding you both the Order of the Red Banner and the Order of the Red Star. All day's speeches will be made in honor of you and your crew. Work has already commenced on your statue. It will be erected directly outside the Kremlin. Oh, this is some killer 80s guitar going on right now. <laughs> oh, guitar version of uh, that, that Navy song. That's awesome. <laughs> 